Salver's horse approached the palanquin where the princesses were seated. Vandiyathevan, who stopped his horse a little behind, said, Watch out! That wicked palak of the princesses is going to knock over our Sadu horse. He said. At almost the same place, he had brought his horse to Nandini's Mudupalak earlier, and shouted, The horse is hitting the palalak. He remembered shouting. Not even six months have passed since the incident. But how many important events have taken place within this short period of time? Kuntava suppressed the outburst of Vandiyadeva's words and said, Brother. You seem to be talking about some interesting subject. Your faces are so radiant. She said. Yes, sister. We've been talking about happy things. But that doesn't make your friend Vanatha so happy. Isn't my wedding day drawing near? We've been enjoying the sight of the bride I'm going to marry with love. We've been talking about her beauty. Said Pawnee Selver. Both women's faces, which had been bright a moment ago, immediately turned pale. Vanati bowed her head. Different sins like anger, surprise, doubt, rage appeared and disappeared on Kundave's face. What shameless talk is this? What pleasure do you have in upsetting this woman's heart? She said. Vanati raised her head and looked at Kundave, sister, what is this word? Why am I sad? She said. Seeing Pawnee's Selver standing with a smile on his face without replying to anything, Ilay Aprati said, Are you returning from Kalitakare? Which girl did you see there? Which town? What is her name? What is her clan? She kept asking. Now Vandiyathevan interrupted and said, Devi. We have not seen any of the clans that the prince is going to marry. We have come to marvel at the resplendent lands of the Punchinati. We have been talking about the natural beauty of the rich Chola land. Isn't the day approaching when the prince will be crowned as the emperor of this beautiful country? He is on these two lands. He was referring to the love he had. He said. Aha! My brother never knew how to talk like this before. Looks like you taught him. She said. Aromas Hivarmar laughed and said, My friend. They wish you well. Didn't I tell you before that after their friendship, all the Tantrum mantras came to me? My Tamakai has also felt the same, look. Said. What a vain accusation. Are you blaming me for the same thing that you and your brother have agreed to do? Vandiyathevan said. There are still many crimes against them. There are crimes that my brother could not have said. They cannot be said standing in the middle of the road. Said Kundave. Vandiyathevan said, What I suspected is right. He said. What did you suspect? I suspected that to send me as a commander of the Elam army was to punish me for my crimes. See, sister. How much faith he has in the gratitude of the Chola clan, doesn't it? It is true that we owe him nothing. What's this, you say that too? You can be thankful for the help of strangers. How can you be thankful among friends? Don't you remember what Thyra Valovar said? Friendship is like a man who has lost his clothes. Would you like to thank the middle hand for picking up the slipped dress? Said Kundave. Goddess. There is no need to give thanks. If there is no punishment, that is a great thanks. Brother. You are right, he is right, remember one thing. Artamayan, Kari Gallan, the heroic heaven, sent him to help me. I did not release him from that duty. Said Kundave. He must not be released, sister. Even if it is life imprisonment, he agrees with me. Said the prince. Kuntave said, I have some things to do for him in Sri Lanka. I'll bid you farewell before I go, goddess. Vandiyathevan said. Then you will have to come and say goodbye to me in the old town, said Kundave Prati. Sister. Where are you off to now? Asked Aromas Hivarma with a little surprise. We are going to Thiruvayar. Isn't today the day of Margazi Thiruvadhirai? Sempi Yanmadavi, Madhurandhagar, and Punguzali went in the morning. 
Are you coming too? said Kundave. No, we did not come now, we went west along the river bank and came back so that we should not enter the city of Tiraveyaru. The Supreme Lord was ecstatic to see Kailash at Tiraveyat. You don't seem to like going there. Perhaps you too have become heroic Vaishnavas. Nothing like that. If I go to Tiraveyaru, I want to go there like Upper Puruman. How did Upper go? He said it in his song. He went without a trace. He went behind the crowd of servants carrying flowers and water for the puja, without any pomp and show that he was Tyrun of Eucharazer. So he could see Kailash at Tyravayat. If we go there with these royal pomps, we too cannot visit the Lord. People will also forget Swami's darshan and stand around us. Yes, yes. Such is your horoscope. When they see you, people surround you and shout, J to the king. J to Pani Selvaru. They will start chanting. But we are not in that much danger. And we will not go in the middle of the crowd. When Swami wakes up for Tiravad Hirai festival, we will visit Lord Iyarade from the top floor of our palace in Tiravad Hirai. Sister. Do you remember a fruit song? The Lord is the creator of the universe, the universe, and all the stars in the sky. What is the foolishness of people to think that he is Atharyan and belongs only to the star of Thiruvadhirai? Do you remember that song with such an idea? Remember, brother. But the one who belongs to all the stars is also the one who belongs to Thiruvadhirai. Well, you go. When are you coming back to Tanjore? We are not going back to Tanjavur now. We are going from Tiruvayat to Palayare. What, what? You're missing my coronation. Said the prince. Yes, yes. What business do I and Vanati have to do with your coronation? Aha! Uh -huh. My baptism will not take place without you. Everything happens, why doesn't it happen? Who fixed the day for the consecration? Isn't he the descendant of the one who fixed the day for Rama's consecration? I don't believe in the star of the day, astrology, or anything, sister. Every day that we do our duty is a good day. Days that are lazy are bad days. Said Pani Selvar. May all the days of your life be such auspicious days, brother. We go and pray for you to the five and the virtuous heroine. Said Kundave. What are you going to pray for me? May your love for the earth be fulfilled. May your coronation take place without any trouble. We pray to the Lord of the five. May your heart not deviate from the virtuous path of the collar Talkyuti we pray in the presence of the virtuous heroine. So, you're definitely not going to be at my christening. We enjoy seeing with the inner eye from ancient times. Sister. You are tying the knot to the stubbornness of these Kajumbalar Gomas. She thinks that if she refuses to climb the Chola Lion with me, the whole world will come to an end. Her vain stubbornness will end in disaster. Another woman will sit on the Chola lion instead of her. Then there is no use in blaming me. Prince Pawnee Selver. I never blamed him. I won't blame him again, sister. Said the princess of Kajumbalar. It's no use what you say, Vanati. Nothing else will reach the ears of those who are greedy. Said the youngest brat. Don't forget that you are the ones who created this lust in my mind. Haven't you told me many times that you were born as a girl and you didn't want to leave this beautiful Chola country and you weren't going to get married just for that? A realm as I said. Then my words never reached your ears. You kept telling me that there are so many beautiful countries in the world. It was the teaching of this monkey clan warrior that made you such a lover of land. Said Kundave Prati. God! Shall that blame fall upon me? Vandaya the van said. You have borne so great and terrible a blame? Are you going to be afraid of these small blames? Brother. We have been talking for a long time. It is almost time for Swami to wake up, we are going. She signaled to the crouching warrior. The tooth went up. After standing there for a while and watching, he led his horse towards Pawnee's moving Tanjore. After going a little further, 
he said to Vandiyathevan, who was approaching him, friend. I don't think these ladies are actually going to visit Swami. The child soothsayer has now settled near Thiruvayaru. They are going to see him and ask for fortune telling. Said. Sir. You are a greater soothsayer than a child soothsayer. Vandiyathevan said, 